Hey guys, I had a couple questions at Office Hours today about uh, the Nusinov problem on the homework, uh, and specifically how to go about doing it when there's bifurcation. So I thought I'd go over a uh, worked example in this video. Um, okay, so I think this, this example is, may have been presented in lecture, but let's go over it from the beginning. Okay, so the important thing to note in this problem is that you're given the solution, namely <clears throat> the RNA self-alignment here, uh, and it's color-coded to show matches between the corresponding braces right here. So uh, the solution in the homework may not be color-coded, uh, and by the solution I mean the answer to problem one and the diagram and on the first page, uh, but you can easily figure out uh, how these braces match up. Um, all that to say that you need to start with a solution knowing uh, which braces match with which. Okay, so now <clears throat> let's fill in, uh, for, for the backtrace, we want to, uh, given the solution, um, find the values uh, at every square that we use for the backtrace. Right, <clears throat> start at the top right corner. And uh, how do we find the value for this here? And the way to do that is look at the total number of matches that you have, right? And in this case, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight here. So we're gonna go ahead and fill in an eight here. Um, and that's gonna be red, yep. Okay, uh, next, um, so when you fill in this eight, uh, the way we've done that, well, we, we filled in the eight, and now we start uh, by looking at the individual positions, right? So uh, I is going to be our left pointer here, starting at one, and we'll call J our right pointer here, starting at 23. And uh, so we're currently looking at the braces at position one, position 23, and uh, we know that they're matched up, right? <clears throat> So since we know that they're matched up, we know that we have uh, gone diagonally and we've accumulated one match. So we're going to fill in this square with a 7 here. We're going to color that red as well. Okay, there we go. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, so, <clears throat> alright, so now we're on... Uh, what, what happened when we when we matched and went diagonally here is that we consumed the brace at 23 uh, and the brace at 1. So that's the way we're going to look at it. We're going to look at it as what part of the solution we're, we've already consumed or are done uh, backtracing. <clears throat> okay, so we're done with uh, these two braces. Now we have uh, the braces at 2 and 22, right? Uh, position 7 here, or where... Uh, this square is so we have a match we're gonna go diagonally and we're gonna accumulate a one so we'll put a six here okay uh, and similarly uh, we're gonna do the same thing here consuming the braces at position 21 and position 3 so another Here. And then finally, we're going to consume uh, the brace at position 20 and the one at 4. And we're going to show up here. <coughs> sorry. I, sorry, I totally had a uh, miscalculation here. It's going to be 5 and it's going to be 4. <laughs> yeah, uh, apologies. Okay, so now we're here and this column has a gap, right? So we consume the braces at 20 and uh, position 4. So here we're, our I is at position 5 and our J is at position 19. Uh, and 19 has a gap, right? So whenever the right side has a gap, uh, J has a gap, we always want to take, we, want, we always want to move left, right? We want to take uh, J minus 1, right? So that's when we consume from the right. So what we're gonna 
So to make that clear, because there's a gap here where our J pointer is, we're we're going to have moved uh, right from this square, so we're going to move left. And there's no penalty for uh, moving left or down, so we're going to also color this red here, and it's going to be a 4. <coughs> okay. Um, all right, so now we've consumed the, the gap at position 19. Uh, our J is at position 18, but our I is still at position 5. Um, we have another gap here, so we're just going to keep moving to the left. Let's do that. Uh, and now we have a parentheses. So we know that the brace at pre position 17 and position 5 are matched. So we're going to take this match, uh, move diagonally downward, and put a 3 here. Um, okay. So uh, now um, our J pointer is at position 16, and our I pointer is at position 6. Okay, 6 and 16. This is a very important uh, segment of this problem. We see that uh, 6 has a left brace and 16 has a right brace, but they're different colors. So we know that they're not matched up. Uh, this is where the key is you know what the solution is. Um, even in the homework, you know what brace is matched up with what other brace. So there's no mistaking 16 and 6 to be matched up. Right? That's not uh, what we're doing here. We know 16 matches with 14 and uh, 6 matches with 12. So that's the signal for us to bifurcate, right? That's important here. So because we have these differently colored uh, left and right braces at position 6 and 16, we're going to bifurcate. Okay, and there's uh, a couple ways we can do this, right? Uh, and bifurcation essentially means that we're going to take the entire segment from 6 to 16, right? That's this entire space here, right? And then we're going to split it into two parts, right? Um, and in this particular case, what we'll do is uh, we'll go 6, and six, 6 to 12, right? I mean, this is... This is already pretty much defined for us. Uh, it's going to be the blue segment, right? 6 to 12. And then we're going to have 13 to 16 be the green segment, right? <clears throat> okay, so we know that the blue segment starts at position 12, right? And that's going to be here. So why is it going to be here? Because when the bifurcation happens, we uh, stay in the same column as our previous square. Right, we just jump. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, here we're we need to put a value here. How do we know what value to put? Well, we know that in this segment, there's two matches that we need to quote unquote collect or satisfy. Right, so that results in a value of two here. We're gonna color this blue. Um, there we go. There we go. All right. So there's a 2 here, right? And now for this segment, we've uh, consumed the braces at position 12 and position 6. Um, and we're going to go into position 11 now, right? So we, we put a 2 here. So we haven't, I'm sorry, we have not consumed the braces at uh, position 12 and position 6. But we know that they're a match, so now we're going to consume them. And we're going to go diagonally downward, and we're going to put a... Uh, a one here. Ah, Google Sheets. Thank you. There we go. Alright, uh, and now again, we know that the braces at 11 and 7 are a match, so we're going to go diagonally downward and consume a part of this. Okay. Um, Okay, so we just consumed the braces at position 11 and 7, moved diagonally downward, and, uh, sorry, not a 1 here, we put a 0 here. Uh, and now we are 
uh, so our i is our, our i for this uh, subset is going to be at eight and ten, right? And uh, we basically have three gaps now, and we can choose how we want to consume these gaps. Um, for simplicity, I'm going to present um, all of them here. Um, so if we consume them from the right, that means we move the J pointer all the way down to where the I pointer is. And then, so first we'll consume the gap at position 10. Uh, that'll move uh, leftward here, right? Every now and then this, this color coder just stops working. <clears throat> okay, leftward here, and then uh, we're gonna. So we're, we have this this gap in position nine now. We could move leftward again. Um, here. Okay, we have this gap in position eight, and then we're gonna consume it finally, and we're gonna end up in the K in the minus one major diagonal here. Um with zeros okay so that's that's one way to do it and uh, the other way to do it is to consume it completely from the left uh, so move up the eye pointer all the way so when you're when you have these three gaps your eye pointer being at position 8 and the J pointer being at position 10 you could uh, consume the one at position 8 which will move this so you'd be here and that would move uh, you down here and you could put a zero here and uh, another zero here, and another zero here. Um, so that's what you would. That's another possible solution uh, you could end up with. Um, and you could have any combination of those. So uh, I'm just going to highlight here. Uh, no, this isn't the. Uh, you don't have to have all these highlighted um, for your homework problem. Uh, I'm just highlighting it here for completion. Uh, so you have this one. So all of these are going to be part of the potential solution here. And you have a zero here as well. OK. So. Uh, ending up at this square is going to correspond to uh, consuming these three gaps from the from the left. So moving the eye pointer to the right three times. Uh, ending up on this square is going to correspond to uh, consuming twice twice on the left and then once from the right. Um, uh, you know this one's all from the right and this one is twice from the right and once from the left. Uh, if there's any specific questions uh, on this exact part, I would. Uh, definitely post on Piazza for a clarification. Okay, so we are done with the blue uh, segment of the bifurcation. We have one part remaining. Uh, that is the green segment uh, after our bifurcation, right? Okay, so we're on uh, we're on uh, column Q here, right? And we are going from 13 to 16 uh, here. So what we're going to have is, so we're going to have to fill in uh, position 13, uh, the 13th row. We're going to start here to fill out the remaining green segment. OK, so what value do we have here? Just like we did with uh, this value and this value, we're going to see how many matches we have in the segment. And that's just one match. Sorry, here. Um, so we're going to put a single one here. Probably a different green. Uh, here we go. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we have a one there. Now we see our pointers at uh, I13. The left is at 13 and the right is at 16. Okay, so one is a gap that must be consumed, right? So we're gonna go ahead and move the I 
uh, to the left. We're going to consume from the left, which means we go down. Uh, and there's no penalty for going down or left. So we're just going to put a 1 here. All right. Cool. So now our I is at 14, and our J, the right pointer, is at 16. Uh, they're both braces, and they're a match. So we're going to go diagonally and consume uh, these two braces here, and then we're going to decrement uh, to 0, right? So here, we're right here, right? Uh, and uh, we have a value of 0. However, we have uh, one gap remaining here, and that gap must be consumed. Uh, and it can be consumed either from the left or from the right. So if we consume it from the left, we move down, right? So one possible solution is uh, this one here. And the other possible solution, of course, is consuming it from the right, and then we move to the left uh, in that case, and we end up with this solution. Oh, I, nope, sorry. Uh, it is this one. OK, so uh, these are the possible solutions. Uh, this is how the backtrace uh, would work. And uh, if this question were on an exam, this, this would give you full points, uh, such an answer. Um, I hope that that was clear. Uh, please do let me know uh, on Piazza if you have any further questions. So the key point to note is that you have the solution um, here. And you know which braces mat match with which, um, and you kind of just go down. Uh, you you start from the leftmost brace and the rightmost brace. Uh, start consuming every uh, character in the solution. Um, count uh, you know how many matches you have to fill in the uh, the root values at each in each bifurcation subtree. Um, and just remember that if you consume a gap from the left, you move down and if you consume a gap from the right you move left um, these are the main points of this um, okay uh, I think that's it for this question